Hello, hello, and welcome to our very latest episode of the Xbox Corner. I am C Money, and I am joined by the always lovely Dodo. What is up, everybody? Thank you so much for rocking with us today. Absolutely, absolutely. Guys, it's been a while, but we are back. We had a little time off from making some of these videos, but we are here and very excited that Xbox just announced their partner preview that is going to be airing live at uh, when YouTube, March 6, 2024 at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Very, very excited for it. Uh, the first one they did towards the end of last year was phenomenal. If you don't remember, we'll talk about it here and we'll show you which ones they did talk about um, on the last one. But this show is exciting. Dude, you're excited I'm to see some games, pumped, baby. see some actual games that we're going to be able to play this year. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the greatest thing is that some of these games will be going straight to Game Pass, baby. Absolutely. That's the blessing that we have over on the Xbox land, right? We have Game Pass, whether it goes directly in the Xbox Game Pass, PC Game Pass. We know that some of these are going to go there, and that's going to be glorious to add to the already crazy amount of games that we get in Game Pass. The library in a is wild. Basis. It really, really is. So let's dive right in. Let's take a look. Uh, Xbox went ahead and put out this tweet here saying, may we have your attention. Woo. Tune in to Xbox Partner Preview streaming March 6th at 10 a.m. Pacific time to get updated on partner games like Kunitsu Gami, Path of the Goddess, Tales of Kenzera, Zao, The First Berserker, Kazan, and more. And it says, uh, then it just has the leak hashtag partner preview. That was really unnecessary to do that. So we'll go back. Um, but yes, we have the list there of games that they are teasing, right? Because we do know that we're going to have uh, some more games. But actually, if we go into the link, it will actually break down a little bit more of what's going on here. Um, so let's go. Actually, I have Tina before we go into the link. Tina Amini, the one who actually puts these shows on, Doodle, um, who's been killing it by way. I gotta say, she was a great get. Absolutely. Yeah. She, she was she was really amazing. I love that podcast that she had with um with Phil, with um Matt Booty and Sarah. It was it was something else. I, I have to say that the conversation was very smooth. And I enjoy the environment and, and how she holds herself amongst them. Yeah, she really does a great job. Uh, great questions and everything. And she, fun fact, she used to work for IGN. What is she? They <laughs> saved her. They saved her from that <laughs> shit, for sure. Um, but she writes, the second ever Xbox Partner Preview show goes live this Wednesday. We were so thrilled by the first show's reception that we kept the core of the format, but introduced some small tweaks based on what we heard from the audience. Excited to see what everyone thinks. I'm definitely pumped to uh, kind of see what what they have in store. I'm, I'm very excited. So let's go over to the actual link where Xbox Wire breaks this down. So Xbox Partner Preview, March 2024. We're back with fresh looks at games for Xbox and Windows. Says, today we're thrilled to announce the next Xbox Partner Preview, this time featuring a mix of new and upcoming games for you from publishers like Capcom, Nexon, EA and others with more than a dozen new trailers over the course of a 30 minute broadcast. Now, right away, that is a bump because if you remember last show, there was actually only 11 games that they showed. So they already are going to be showing more games, um, which, you know, that's, that's exciting. That's a win. That that's definitely a win. Um, says uh more than a dozen new trailers over the course of a 30 minute broadcast the other one was like 28 minutes so you got an extra two minute bump 
And he says, during Xbox Partner Preview, you can learn more about combat and traversal in Tales of Kinzero Zao with a video narrated by Abu Bakar Salim himself. See new gameplay from Kanitsugami, Path of the Goddess. Get a closer look at the first Berserker, Kazan, and other great titles coming to Xbox, Windows, or Game Pass. Now, that's curious how they phrase that, right? Mm -hmm. Almost like Game Pass is just its own it's thing, own thing right it's its yes. own entity um so our and it also sounds that again they said or right so it seems like these games are going to be spread throughout yeah like it's not going to be uh barely any right it looks like you might have a pretty even distribution of yes. games going in the game pass games not going in the game pass um some pc games it's I'm definitely excited to see what it is. So, so it says our Xbox partner preview format is all about sharing exciting games, news from our talented studios from across the globe with no frills, just new game reveals, release date announcements, and fresh new gameplay from upcoming games, coupled with unique behind the scenes stories from developers on Xbox Wire. So this was a super dope thing that they did last time. So one of the old ways that they used to do these things is they would have um, they would have the game right. And then they would have like the developer come out and give this whole story. And then people would get annoyed and restless. Like we like, let me choose what I want to deep dive in. Yeah. And that's exactly what they do. So they do the preview. They give you the, the trailer and then they tell you, go check out Xbox wire for behind the scenes or for this you know, interview or whatever the case. And is. I love this new format because, yes, let me see the goods and let me let me make the decision as to which games I want to kind of dive a little more deeper into, whether it's because I'm super interested in or maybe not so much. And I kind of want to learn a little bit more about it and see if I can kind of, you know, get into something that doesn't necessarily grabs my attention, Absolutely. you know? Absolutely. Yeah, no, I definitely do appreciate it. And it's, you know, just them respecting our time, Absolutely. right? Instead of filling it with fluff, uh, they're just going to be giving us trailer after trailer after trailer. We're going to learn some release dates, which is dope, right? And then uh, at the end of the day, what's most exciting to us, I think, is going to be which of these games are going into Game Pass. Yes, absolutely. Right? We want to know what we're going to get thrown into that freaking pool of games that is there for us available to pick and choose as we wish. Absolutely. Now it says this event will be digitally broadcast on Wednesday, March 6th at 1 p.m. Eastern across our Xbox channels on YouTube, Twitch, and it will feature updates on a variety of Xbox and window games that are launching on our platforms. We hope to see you back here on Wednesday, March 6th. And again, launching on our platforms, this is just kind of again solidifying this idea that they are a platform xbox is a place to be and we know from from being on all the ecosystems that it is clearly and easily defined as the play, the, the best place to be playing games it is sure. the best place to be playing games the it is ecosystem. the best ecosystem it is the place to be it is the place to party if games is what you're interested in right? right i mean that's literally what it comes down to they are the spot where games are being released and games are reaching new heights absolutely absolutely now again if you're sitting here asking yourself like what why should I be excited for this? I mean, they they told us these three games. What are these three games? We'll take a look at a second, right? But to kind of refresh your memory, let's look back here at what they actually showed us at the first Xbox partner preview. So I'll switch right here, and you'll be able to see uh, on the Xbox partner preview, the first game they showed was Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, which turned out to be a phenomenal game. Uh, Ikaru will not die. I actually watched the first partner preview back just to kind of refresh myself before going into this next one, and that was a pretty awesome. And I have I have the trailers as well, so it kind of get a refresher. Still wakes the deep 
a very interesting looking game. Can't wait to try that one out. That one's going into Game Pass. Uh, Robocop Rogue City that turned out to be a, a great game that got really highly rated in reviews. Uh, Dungeons of Hinterberg, another game that looked really cool uh, that we're still waiting for. Spirit of the North, another one. Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater. That's a huge game. It is. It that is came sure. out of this partner preview that we did not know was coming. And again, like that was a bigger dive uh, deep into the actual gameplay of it. And again, that's showing you the scale of what can be here, right? It is not necessarily just a smaller entity. Again, like a dragon started it off. That's a pretty big game. Um, so Metal Gear Solid to be a, such a huge game. It's, it's great to have that kind of baseline of knowing that games like that can be in this preview. Yeah, and that we can look forward to. Absolutely. Then you got the finals, which ultimately released, which was also a big, huge game, still played by many right now. Um, Manor Lords, which looks interesting, and that game for sure was going into the PC Game Pass, but it's also coming to Xbox Game Pass as well. Um, again, very interesting looking game, not out yet. And again, we'll, we'll play some of them, but um, Ark Survival Ascended which was a huge game, had a really nice showing there. And Alan Wake 2, which was a great way to end the show. Absolutely. Um, we know that Alan Wake 2 is a phenomenal game. Uh, got nominated for many, many awards. Game of the year. Last year, game of the year last year. Um, and it's still a game I'm working through and having a great time doing it. So this is actually going to be um, some trailers of the three games that they already told us they're going to be showing up. This is I'm the goddess. It's the um, the Capcom game uh, that they showed us a little while back. Super interesting. Um, this is the, this one is actually going into Game Pass. So for sure, it's going into game. game Pass. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's going into Game Pass. Yeah, but do you see how creepy it is? Like it's so unique. It's very unique. It's very stunning. It. There's something captivating about it. And I think it's the contrast between light and dark and kind of like that, the like weird. you mentioned that, that creepiness, but at the same time, that beauty in there, that kind of softens the, the creepy elements of it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I agree with what It's unique as all hell, right? Like, that, it looks so dope. Like, graphically, graphically, it's insane. It is. It's insane. And even with the action, throughout the action, they go ahead and give you, like, these pedals to kind of contrast the roughness of the action and give it a little bit of softness. It's definitely unique. You see their faces covered with, like, this, this flower mask. Um, and then you see all of these qualities of it that are like very, very creepy, as you mentioned before, see money. And I'm interested to dive into into this game and see what it actually is. Yeah, it's it's definitely one of the most unique games. And the combat looks sick. Like, it does. It looks so good. Uh, I'm actually really really excited for this one i'm very glad that they're going to be uh giving us another preview i mean i feel like at this point this is i mean probably a sign that the game's releasing soon no i would i would think so and what this game has aside from it looking stunning is balance oh balance, game pass right there yes there you go you were yep. right see money it, it's Absolutely. very balanced yeah, Play it day one one's... with Game Pass. Day one with Game Pass, baby. Uh, yeah, that's going to be dope. Now, this is the second game that they're going to be coming, talking about. Tales of Kinzera Zout. Uh, this Every one, I don't know if you remember seeing it um, at the it's Game story. Awards. I but do. the guy the came out before. and... You know, told his story brother, about you know father. his father passing away, and you know, he wanted Snatched to make a game to kind of. To, I believe it was on the lines of like telling him Shaman things that Zeta. he wanted to say, but yeah, he didn't get a I chance. To. A very personal story. It's it, that's what is going to be very special about this game, C Money. And when we talk about developers and we talk about how personal you know it is to make a project this should be a testament of that uh, if if we go back to what he mentioned right his relationship with his father so again i'm very i'm very excited to see the story play out 
and you know hopefully get to know a little more and and it be a really good a good well told story no this i think would be an amazing game pass game I will not stop. And I think, you know, maybe the fact that they highlighted these three games to, like, tell us, hey, we're going to be talking about these games, maybe that shows a deeper partnership. That will make a very, a very um, good point, Simani, because the idea of putting out and, and kind of highlighting the games that are going to go into Game Pass so everyone will have access to who has Game Pass, I mean, that makes a lot of sense to me. Now, this one here is the Berserker, the first Berserker, Kazan. This shit looked amazing. <laughs> this yes. this looked amazing. And again, the fact that it's here, I really kind of feel like, is this going to be in Game Pass? Because this would be a phenomenal game. For it game would pass. be it would be for sure this this game looks insane see money and when i when i talk insane it's not like i'm talking about the art styles the way that they've been able to seamlessly and then at the same time in a way that it, it kind of stands out at the same time yes. like to to merge different styles that go well together. Yeah, I love like that anime look. It looks so fluid. It looks crazy. But then you kind of juxtapose that with the, the realistic environments. Uh, God, I mean, it, the particle effects. The, yes. The, the, awesome. the fighting Design is very raw shit. as well. Absolutely. Well, this is definitely like a Souls type game. Um, but God, man. This is stunning. Again, look at that anime look and that realism that yes. this game gives you. Yes. It's Absolutely. stunning when they're able to merge art Peggy styles 18. in that in that way. Absolutely. Now that was next song. Um, the game before that was EA, like a dragon the game before is that going was Capcom, which are the three publishers they mentioned. But then Bask they talked about the having more than. 12, the more than a breeze. dozen, so at least 10 and more games as that we don't know about are going to be there. Uh, now, these games here, this is as a refresher, I put them in here, he that we can kind of uh, remember what they actually showed us at the so last your bags preview and get ready. partner You're going uh, to showcase that Xbox did. So this is uh, like a dragon, if it well, which we know turned out to be a phenomenal game. A lot of people really love it. So that was that game. Then this one was uh, Ikaru Will Not Die, which was kind of like funky, um, very like, colorful, um, a lot of speed. And it looks pretty dope to me. It does. It looks really, it reminds me a little bit of Sonic, you know, yes. when you're out there and you kind of have that speed and it's kind of like, let's see what you can grab. Let's see what you can do. But the Absolutely. movement and fluidity just continues. It's kind of like yes. seamless. I love that. And those type of games cool. kind of keep you going into like, all right, let me play another round and let me see if, what I can catch this time or what I can do. Yeah, that was, that is dope. Yes, I agree. And that, that one's uh, made part of the a huge uh, partnership with Xbox. They have to do a lot of great games for them. They've done a lot of games in Game Pass with them. So I wonder if that one's going to be in Game Pass. This one is still great. So this one was really interesting. It's like a survival horror. You know, you're supposed to be the only person in this oil tanker, you know, uh, structure but um obviously things are turning crazy but it looks great it looks amazing that water is stunning dude it really is this is the thing with water like it's so difficult to go ahead and, and perfect because there's there's water standing still and then when you go ahead and you put the weather or the elements that make it react and yes. look at that that's yeah, just that looks stunning. And you would think now by now every game would have great water um, but I think it's very taxing, and I guess a lot of studios just don't want to spend the energy on it. But when you have games like Sea of Thieves out there that have beautiful water, right? Like, uh, you would think that they were, we would have gotten further. You would water think tech, so. You and know? again, when you look at a game like this, you see how possible it is. Yes. It, and what a difference it makes from when you see that cartoonish water to this realism where when it hits, it just kind of reacts a certain way. It has to be very difficult to get an element like this 
um, right. And it's stunning, beautiful when it finally comes together. I agree. Yeah, when you watch this, you definitely start getting this shit. Like that survival horror. It's like, uh-oh, like somebody else is here. Is it, I don't know. It looks it looks really dope, really interesting. I'm really excited for it, this You one. know, just the horror alone of being stuck somewhere yeah. on your own, I think, Seriously. is plenty. Adding some elements of sound and, and you know, the, the water and the, the metal around. On in the like, all right, well, a nuke floods the streets absolutely. as a new this gang leader here emerges. Is Yo, look at these beauties, which at the time when we first saw it, was like, all oh, right, this looks really good. A media but, bring but, you know, the since then it was released, the and honestly, you, got amazing Indeed, reviews. Indeed, the new guy has united all the, one of the best the looking the games but we are that not has alone. released. Uh, it's on Unreal Engine 5, and it's totally one of the best looking games. I'm very, very... Because it's important very, to remember the new crisis seemed to unstoppable, myself, but not to but Robocop. Definitely looks great. He is the I am too, policeman. because, you know, I have to say, like, weapons, as of what I've seen us, now, I don't know if it's the way technology. that they're trying to, to show it. It's not, okay it doesn't there, look as stunning, Those right? And it doesn't look as captivating. Um, a little stiff for me, but, I mean, maybe once you play it, it all kind of comes together. Agreed. We'll see. I'm, Wait, I'm very intrigued by the guy. Great Robocop reviews. Speak. People really, really loved it. Um, then Do you have Dungeons of Hinterberg, that. which, again, very Austria's unique um, type Where of game. Looks like a painting. Yeah, it looks like a painting. It's the only choice. It's very character driven. Uh, and Join it looks like a game that would just be about like walking around and talking to it. people and Where things like that. Starts. And there's like dungeons, and, and you know, it seems like uh, you know, fighting has a lot to do with it. I mean, it. Uh, exploring and, and traversal. I mean, it looks, I mean, it looks interesting to me. I, I think it looks this is interesting. It shows you that there's a place for kind of like everything, right? And how there's t more to the eye can see, right? If there's that much more into this game. Um, the art style is certainly one of a kind, and it feels. It doesn't seem to me like something that it's like a go-to necessarily, but um, and open to it's interesting. I'm not, I'm not necessarily sure what um, what it'll deliver, but you know, I love to to kind of try it. I don't know if it's like super, like oh my god, I gotta play, but it definitely looks. Looks unique, man. I mean, I don't know. It could, it could surprise you. You know what I'm saying? It could, and that's what I'm saying. There's, you know, we were talking about how world and how we just thought it was, you know, essentially Pokemon's with guns, but there's so much more to that game than just that, right? Um, again, this, this judging on what you're seeing i mean as you keep seeing the trailer you see that there's much more and more and more and um it's there's some simplicity to art style that kind of looks summer 2024 there's a simplicity to the art style that kind of makes you wonder where is this going to take us right absolutely I got to tell you, I mean, the fact that it's going into Game Pass that makes me a lot more interested. Well, absolutely, because then you get to see whether you want it or not. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> sure. So this one here is Spirit of the North 2. Um, and, you know, uh, again, this was a kind of one of these games that's like seems very low key, but then there's like more to it. I mean, that's pretty stunning when you when you just see the the trailer for what it is it's funny you mentioned low key but it's like oh wow look at look at what i'm looking at like okay i see it kind of just changes yeah so i don't know i, mean, I guess you're the fox and you got this bird that's going to help you i mean definitely interesting I mean, the fox looks really good too. <laughs> um, oh, looks like the the fox is going to be having spirit of the north. Spirit of the north too. The fox is going to be having some things to battle. Apparently, well, I mean, definitely interesting. And again, that's what's dope about these partner previews, where you kind of get to see 
you know, titles that maybe you would have never seen or thought of. And right? that's why that's but then again, is that's why Game Pass is so important because if it's you look at something and you're like, okay, I'm not sure about this, you have the opportunity to go ahead and try it out, right? And then Agreed. make a decision. Agreed. Man, when I saw this though, Metal oh, Gear Solid, yes, uh Delta Snake Eater. I was on. not expecting this game. Oh, especially since we Actually. saw we saw the announced trailer at the PlayStation event. So a lot of people were like, oh, is this gonna be like a PlayStation? But it's like, well, they just got the reveal, right? We got the, the gameplay reveal. We got right? the juice, baby. We got the real juice. We, we got, got the, the real exciting juice. stuff. Um, but yeah, so this obviously, I mean, this looks stunning. And good thing for me is that this was the one that I did not actually play. I never played uh Snake Eater. So um but look at how stunning i love that they're taking the time to show us these types of things because those are the details that make it so impressive right they are the details that make it so impressive and the details that you kind of miss while you're playing right because you yep. don't necessarily you're so consumed by what you're doing that you don't necessarily may take the time to go see those little details i love that they're not afraid to show you that they didn't miss anything absolutely absolutely unreal engine 5 it's gonna be stunning um then obviously we know the finals that yes. came out we played it already we've had a lot of fun with it um but it's a wild game i think this game here is um they have a similar type game that's supposed to come out i can i could almost guarantee that it's not going to look as good as this um and at that point so many people are going to be hooked on this game that like why would i even bother well the real question would be would it ever come out you know what i mean <laughs> let's just wait and see just you wait. I mean, Let's see how these things play out. I mean, you ain't wrong. You ain't yeah. wrong. You ain't wrong. And then uh, Man and Lord, which was a game that I did not think would intrigue me. But yes, yes, it does. It, it got intrigues you, baby. me. It got me graphically. It's amazing. And I'm a sucker for graphics, man. And this looks stunning. Um, Especially outdoors. Oh my god, that's you. my favorite. It's, it's a big deal. Um, and I just love how this looks, man. Like I, I can get into building a city and stuff like that, and look at how great it looks. I mean, I, I love it. Um, I will say that the best part about it, it is in fact coming to PC Game Pass. But to be clear, it's also coming to consoles, so it will be coming to Xbox Game Pass oh, as go. well. Um, which is very exciting. Again, you can just see, you know, it's stunning for this type of game, right? A city builder or, you know, like a medieval city Absol builder. Absolutely, because normally they tend to to go ahead and take a simpler take with these type of games, right? Absolutely. And the fact that they've kind of dove a little bit more deeper into it in, in I mean, you can only uh, be excited because these are the things that change the genre of games yeah it kind of pushes it forward yes. right so i'm definitely digging it i'm um, very excited it reminds me of kingdom come deliverance uh obviously that one's a first person you know rpg um but you know just the look of it i mean and this looks so much better and, and that's saying something because it, it the kingdom come deliverance is a stunning game uh but yeah very excited for this again coming into game pass it's gonna be dope uh um, then arc survival ascended now, I know one of the art games got released. I think it was this one. Um, and, you know, I haven't played it myself. Uh, it's a stunning game. I think it's a beautiful looking game. Kind of crazy um, how good it looks. Um, but, you know, I we... We played Power World, and that was kind of like our survival fix, you know? Like yes. That. But, I mean, graphically, this is 
like this is pretty dope. The lighting is stunning as well. Like I love that, and the reaction of look the water as well. It but the grass, yes. it's really pretty. There are little areas where you kind of feel like oh they could have done better here or there, but for sure. Overall, for the type of game, it looks it looks good. I mean, dude, I mean, Jesus. When you like the, the the range of environments and the range of of what they're showing you, again, the attention to detail up close is just crazy. And I think you hit it right there, see money, the range, because there is a difficulty when you're given different types of environments and different types of like uh daytime right and everything else different types of weathers throughout the same weather throughout the same game right there is a difference between doing that and kind of have a flat one-dimensional game yeah i agree 100 percent. so this looks amazing um I, I don't know if we'll check it out it's, it's but it looks really really good um and then they did finish the show uh the partner preview last time uh with alan wake 2 which again we have played i've been playing it um i've already done all this stuff that i'm seeing here this is a very very good game again it was nominated for game of the year tons of other nominations it won a lot of awards um definitely a phenomenal game so very very um very very good man and again this is talking about the caliber of what they showed last time right like we can look forward to them putting something together for us that's going to be more than just smaller type games yes absolutely there's a lot to look forward to see money in not just in the quality of game but the fact that they said over 12 games we will be seeing i mean this is very exciting i love again the format as we mentioned in the beginning of the of the way that they're going to do this event is we're going to go ahead and get all the trailers and then if we want to dive deeper and and go ahead and, and hear a little bit more from the developers then we ch we can choose to do that not have to do that to get to the next trailer so agreed. that's definitely agreed. something to look forward to a hundred percent agreed now i do uh want to end uh this video and this episode here um but i will say that we're very excited march 6 1 p.m eastern time we will in fact be co-streaming this absolutely so we, will we will be there reaction. and we absolutely. hope you guys will join us Please and come do. rock out with us and remember the only way you're going to do that is if you go ahead and subscribe to our channel Please, as you're watching this, make sure you hit the like button, you hit the subscribe button. Remember, we don't only do videos. We do four live streams a week, and then we do add these reaction videos anytime Xbox or PlayStation or anybody else has something exciting live. So please make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live with new content. And with that, we're going to end the show the way we end every single show. Doodle. Yes. We're done. We are. Until next time. You're intruding. You're intruding. <laughs>